Welcome to Lark Hall Circuit, I'm John Ross and we really hope you have a great session today but before we can let you loose on these carts, please watch and pay close attention to this short safety video. Remember karting is a non-contact sport, although motorsport is fun, it can be dangerous and caution must be taken. So if you follow our rules, you'll have a fun, safe and enjoyable karting session. We will provide you with all the equipment you need to have fun and stay safe while doing it. Firstly, make sure you're wearing some comfortable and secure footwear. Next up is the driving oversuit. If you need help with sizing, one of our staff members will assist. Carefully step into the driving suit, pull up towards your waist, insert arms, pull over your shoulder and fasten at the front with a velcro strip. Pull on the balaclava so that the top part is in line with your hairline and the bottom is next to your chin. All long hair should be tucked into the driving suit to reduce the risk of it getting caught in any moving parts of the cart. One of our staff members will select a helmet size and fit it for you. If you feel the helmet strap is too tight, let one of our staff members know and they will adjust. And the last part of equipment is your gloves. There is a specific way to enter and exit the cart. This is to reduce cart damage and to keep you safe. Firstly, place your left hand on the steering wheel, then your right hand on the back of the seat. Safely step into the cart, put both hands on the back of the seat supporting your own weight, slide down the seat extending your left leg onto the brake pedal, and then your right next to the accelerator. If you feel the cart seat is a little too loose, tell one of our staff members, he will then ask you to exit the cart safely while he fits an insert to the seat, making the seat a little smaller. The pedals on the car are fully adjustable. If you feel that the pedals are too far away or too close, let one of our staff members know and they will adjust. The car seat is also adjustable. To accelerate, use the right pedal, and to brake, use the left. When you're leaving the car, do not put your hand on the engine cover, for it could be extremely hot and cause serious injury. When leaving the car, do everything in reverse. First your right leg, then your left, slide up the seat, steady yourself and then safely exit the car. A brake test must be passed before you exit the pit lane. This will be carried out by one of our track marshals. The steering on the carts are very positive. If you're unfamiliar with karting, take time in the early stages of your session to familiarise yourself with the cart controls. If you need any assistance while stationary on the track, simply raise your hand the track marshal will signal a yellow flag, then when all other racers have passed you at a safer reduced speed, it will quickly help you out and have you on your way again. At all times, please keep hands and feet within the cart perimeter. And remember, karting is a non-contact sport. When it's not your session and you're not supposed to be on track, please stay behind the barriers or on the gantry. Shine. Yellow flag. Caution. There is an incident ahead. Reduce your speed to 75%. No overtaking and when it's safe to do so, return to racing speed. Red flag. The session must be stopped. Slow the cart to 25% speed. No overtaking and be prepared to stop when a marshal instructs you. Black flag. This is a driving standards flag. If you see this, return to the pits immediately. This flag will be used for avoidable contact or dangerous driving. Depending on the circumstances, you may or may not be allowed to return to the track for the remainder of your session. And the checkered flag. End of session. Proceed around the track at a reduced speed and make your way to the pit lane. Keep to a walking pace when in the pit lane. Music 
We reserve the right to terminate your activity at any time if we deem your behaviour to be unacceptable. We do not tolerate violence, intention of collision, dangerous driving and any behaviour that can cause damage or upset to other visitors, employees or property. Any unacceptable behaviour will result in your karting session being terminated with immediate effect, with no refund, compensation or expenses issued. We do not accept any drivers who are under the influence of alcohol or drugs. We have the right to refuse or stop your karting session if we suspect that you are under such influence. In this situation, we will not issue any refund, compensation or expenses. For more information on our carts and our equipment here at Lark Hall, click above or below. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. Um.